Tiffany. I'm back. Uh, welcome to Lock Door Spotlight. My name is Tiffany. I'm your host and I'm the owner and designer of Tiffany's Lock Jewelry. So if you've ever um, tried my Lock Jewelry before, I just welcome you to visit the site and see what you can find. Um, I would encourage you to shop by style or shop by collection to see what type of jewelry uh, suits you, like what you'd really gravitate to. Um, you can shop by style, you can also shop by color, so there's lots of options for you. But today I am going to don a few lock jewels and the emphasis today is going to be silver. Um, I'm going to start with deflowered. This is a little silver piece. It's part of the lock ringlet collection and um, it's lock ringlet by style, but it's part of the uh, Rustic Romance collection. And uh, don't worry, it's all listed for you below. Anyways, I'm going to put these on for you. So you just put your lock through the hole here and the little cuff, and then you just bring it through the cuff nice and easy like that, right? And we are going to pull it up. Now, what's so nice about these, these the lock jewelry and the different types is the way you can wear it in your hair. Like if you wanted to wear an updo or something and you wanted to like make sure that this part was showing, you can put it there, like here, like, you know, a certain place where you want it to fall, you know. So I've got that one in there. Um, I also wanted to add glitz. This is blue lace agate glitz. Uh, it has a little crystal on the bottom, blue lace agate, and it is titanium quartz right here and Swarovski crystal. So let's see what I can do with that one. It's a little cuff, so I'm going to push it through here, right? And let's see. I will push it through here and slide it through just like that. And you can have it up as high as you want. You can have it dangly, like if you're going out or something and you want it dangling down below. And like, as you can see, it's it's on a tough lock, so it's not gonna fall off. You wanna choose the right lock. Um, if you want to go back to my video on how to don your lock jewelry with the lock jewelry applicator, and I also talk about how to choose the right lock for it. So I'm just gonna bring it up just a little bit like that, okay? But I'm gonna leave it and move on to the next one. Just leave that little dangly. Then I have, I think I showed you guys earlier, this one is uh, to the nines, okay? And there's also a double to the nines, like if you want a double crystal. So it's double the crystals. <laughs> and um, there's also another one I mentioned in the last video that's black and copper. So this is this one and I'll see if I can put it on in another video or yeah, when I'm not wearing copper, when I'm not, I'm not do, trying to do all silver. So, um, this one is, um, called incognito. It's incognito purple, um, agate, purple fire agate. And it's with gray wire. And it's one of the, the ones I made in the beginning when I was, creating the, the collection. And it's just a really nice accent piece. So I'm gonna put it on here, slide it up. All you do is slide it through, just like that. Slide it all the way up. Now I guess this would be an example of one that you could probably get away with having it on here, but it is kind of slippery. Like this one is probably a little too slippery, but it depends on what you're doing. So if you're going to wear an updo, then it really doesn't matter because it doesn't have to be, you know, flip. It doesn't have, you don't have to worry about it falling off. Um, I think this is a nice one for lock stacking. Um, I demonstrated that in another video where you have them, you match them and you stack them. And it's just so, so nice um, if you can do that. Uh, let me see. So I have this little cuff, it's called Decades. Well, let's see, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, where should I put this one? I have this one here, this one, 
Oh, yeah, this is a good one. So this is a thicker lock. This is a super thick lock. So I'm going to put it um, on this one. I'm going to stick it through the hole like that, right? And then I'm going to pull it like this. You can kind of put it where you want. Let's see if I can make sure this comes through. And then I'm going to pull it through like this and I am pulling it up so see that it's a nice little accent so this is an accent piece um you can buy a bunch of them we've had a couple people that have bought like multiple of these and then just put them all over their hair or you can stack them I like to stack them but if if I could make them and have them all over I would it's just that when I'm making them we're making them for y'all and they're just you know going out the door um, this one's called Faux Real, and it's a nice little lock ringlet, and it's super um, simple piece. And this would be another good one for stacking. This one, you don't even need a lock jewel applicator. You could just slide it up like this. So you can stack it this way, see? And then you can put it right there, right? And then you can actually put another one be below it. So I might put, not to mess this whole little thing up here we got, but I could put, this one is limited edition. I won't put that one on here, but let's see. Oh, I, oh my goodness. Um, I do have this silver, um, it's a silver duchess with a bright uh, neon green. We could try that one. So I'm going to bring it through like this, right? And I'm going to put that one right here. I'm thinking this lock may work for it. We'll see. Um, I want to have this one in copper also to go with the rest of the series. But um, I thought that it would really be nice to have the silver too. It's, it's nice to have the silver. So this one's a good one for stacking. So you can see, look, we have the neon green, we have the black, it's the matte, matte agate, and we have this one here. So it's like you have, it's three jewels in one, but see. So this is a good example of lock stacking. So um, that is pretty much it. I'm going to end this video here, and I will show you more in the next video. Bye.